Uh, this person uses an, an air quality monitor, and when they close their windows, formaldehyde goes up. Um, do you have any idea if plants would help? And if so, how many would you put in a room? Um, yeah, you know, I've never seen a study of how many plants, and I think it is highly variable of different environments, but it is true. You know, so our, our, our wallboard, they're getting better about it. You know, newer homes have less formaldehyde, but they use formaldehyde for wallboard. They use formaldehyde to make flooring. Um, there's a lot of formaldehyde that is used in the construction industry. So, yeah, uh, closing up your house does tend to keep it inside. Um, Probably a better solution for a good solution for that, if you can afford to do it, is install a whole house filtering system that's beyond your regular heating and air system that basically continually circulates air through the house and filters it. And that's really the only way to get that formaldehyde out completely. Um, plants can help, no doubt about it, but sometimes we have to use a little technology along with it. Um, but certainly, uh, you know, it, it, it be, being smart and with new construction for anybody that's out there thinking about a new home, uh, looking for products that have decreased or no formaldehyde in them is a really smart choice. But the only way I know to really eliminate it is a whole house filtering system. Um, just because our houses are so tight now that once we close them up, everything stays inside. Um, but if you're in an environment where you can open your windows, you know, that flushes things out pretty well. And just regular heating and air systems, if they're running regularly, will help flush the air. It depends on how much of that is recirculated, though. And certainly using a higher quality filter in your heating and air system is really important.